Welcome back to my channel, Glitter Babes. Today I am turning this tire into a coffee table. I will first start off by cleaning it with this awesome spray and I will be also wiping it off with dish detergent. Afterwards, I dried it off and I'm gonna be using, you guessed it, this great stuff. <laughs> this great stuff that I can't get enough of. And as you can tell, I was a little nervous at first because I didn't know what type of design I wanted to do. So I was just doing anything. But once I got to the other side of the tire, I was comfortable. And with doing this project, I did have to wait until it dried. Um, before I could do the other side. So it took me like three rotations to fully get the tire covered. Oh, and I'm gonna put y'all up on game. So I was thinking about this DIY and I was like, I see tires on the side of the road all the time, but I bet you I won't find one today. And I didn't. So I was like, where can I find a tire? So I went to like my local tire shop and I just randomly asked them if they had some tires that they weren't using and I got it for free. So if you wanna do this project, go to your tire shop. So I turned this tire as much as I could and I let it sit. And as you can see on the right side, it's dried. So I was able to rotate it more. And this is the last part that I'll be doing. As you can see, I was doing all type of random designs. This table is like full of character, I tell you that. But if you are thinking about doing this project, do not take it too serious. You can't go wrong with foam. Like I love foam, I'm, I'm obsessed right now. And y'all please bear with me on this part. I did like three rings of foam because I was trying to decide if I wanted to make this um, a sealed table or if I wanted like a little cubby space in the middle. So what I was originally doing was um, trying to leave space for the mirror to fit in and then eventually I decided to cover the whole tire. And I'm just showing you all what I was talking about. I was trying to add the mirror in there and I was just going to glue the mirror down to the tire and I was like why would I waste that perfect space inside. I might as well make it, you know, a little compartment to put blankets in or something. And so I did take it outside and spray paint it gold. Like I said, I changed my mind. So I went ahead and just covered the rest of the tire. Next, I flipped the tire upside down and this is a pre-cut piece of, um, cardboard that was attached to the back of the mirror that I'm using on the top. So I'm gonna be using this to put on the bottom. I then pre-cut this piece of cardboard to go inside and I did add some foam on the bottom of the board so that it will stick to the tire because foam does like create this permanent bond. Well, it's not permanent, but it does um, work better than glue. And I'm just showing you all how I rolled up the cardboard so that it could fit inside the tire. And I did go around the bottom of the cardboard with uh, my hot glue gun. I just didn't show that in a video. But next I'm taking this Gorilla Glue Spray and I'm spraying the inside of the tire with it and I will be attaching this gold metallic paper inside. And I should have mentioned this before, but if you are thinking about doing this project, make sure you do all these measurements in the beginning. Next, I pre-cut this circle and I'm gonna be adding it on the bottom. And that's all folks, I'm gonna add my mirror on top and this is the outcome. Tell me this table is not gorgeous. I dare you to tell me it's not gorgeous. I love this table and it was so easy to make and so much fun to make also. And I paired it with the body mirror that I made last week 
And if you're interested in that DIY, it will be in the description box below. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And share this video if you care. And I'll see you later, Glitter Babes. Stay blessed.